This is the grade 11 November 2016 question on redox reactions. It says a silver Christmas tree can be made by placing copper wire shaped in the form of a tree into a silver nitrate solution. The unbalanced equation for the reaction is copper solid plus silver nitrate aqueous goes to copper nitrate aqueous plus silver solid. Then it says define oxidation in terms of oxidation number. Oxidation is an increase in oxidation number. Remember we can define this in terms of electron loss or gain. All redox reactions are related to electron, uh, elect electron loss or gain. But oxidation is actually an increase in oxidation number. Now it says, write down the following for the reaction above. The formula of the reducing agent. Now a reducing agent is oxidized. And the next one says to you, write down the name of the oxidizing agent. This is something that is reduced. So for these two questions, we have to look in the equation and using oxidation numbers, find out what is oxidized and what is reduced. So if we look at the copper on the left hand side, it has an oxidation number of zero because it's an element. And on the right hand side, it has an oxidation number of plus two because it is the copper two plus iron on the right hand side. Okay, so this shows an increase in oxidation number. If we look at the silver on this side, it is the silver iron. It has an oxidation number of plus one. And on the right hand side, it is an element with an oxidation number of zero. So the silver here has decreased its oxidation number. And we are not looking at the nitrate iron because it is just a spectator iron, so we're not that interested in it. Nothing in the nitrate iron changed, so the nitrate is a spectator iron. Iron, it's not taking part in the net reaction, so we're not worried about its oxidation number. So, which one was the reducing agent? It has to be something which has an increase in oxidation number. So, which one's oxidation number increased? Okay, the oxidation number of the copper increased from 0 to plus 2. So it says the formula, so we're going to write Cu for copper. Now it says the name of the oxidizing agent, what was reduced. So the silver went from plus 1 to 0. It's a decrease in oxidation number, so it was reduced. But it's not the silver on the left-hand side. It is the silver ion, okay, Ag plus. We can't write Ag plus because Ag plus is a formula, okay, and it asked for the name. If you just write silver, you are going to be wrong, okay? It is the silver ion. And if you want to really be caref careful, you could put the silver one ion, but there isn't really another silver ion. So, but if you leave out this word ion, you are wrong because there's a big difference between Ag plus and Ag. Okay, so now it says what is the oxidation half reaction? The oxidation half reaction is the one where something is going to increase in oxidation number. So it's going to be the copper reaction. So copper goes to copper 2 plus, and in the process, it releases two electrons. Remember, copper can be copper plus or copper 2 plus, but it's nearly always, always the copper 2 plus. And in this case, I know for sure it's the copper 2 plus because it was CuNO3 twice. And the charge on a nitrate ion is negative 1, which means this has to be positive 2. So it is copper goes to copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons. And if we look in our table of standard reduction potentials, you can find this reaction over here. Can you see the reaction is over here? But remember, the forward reaction is reduction. And then they asked us for an oxidation reaction. So the backward reaction is oxidation. So you can get the reaction off this table here. Okay, but if it's the oxidation reaction, you have to be writing 
the reverse reaction with a single arrow. You will not get your marks in this question if you write it with the reversible arrow. Now it says to you the balanced net ionic equation using the iron electron method. So to use the iron electron method, we have one oxidation reaction, which we've just written down, and we will need one reduction reaction, and it's going to be involving the silver ion gaining an electron and forming silver metal. So if we go back to our table, if we want to check this out, if we go back to our table over here, you can see somewhere here, here is a reduction reaction, a silver ion going to silver metal, and this one is the forward reaction. So to make a redox reaction, we need one forward reaction from this table and one reverse reaction from this table. So there are my two equations, one reduction reaction, one oxidation reaction, but we have to balance them, and the way you balance them is by checking the electrons. This one's got two electrons, this one's got one electron, so I must multiply this whole equation by two, 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 and then my net reaction is going to be copper plus two silver ions Okay, remember these electrons are going to cancel because there's two on the left-hand side and two on the right-hand side. goes to Cu2 plus plus 2Ag. So that is my net ionic reaction. Copper, two, copper plus two silver ions goes to copper 2 plus plus two silver. Remember the nitrate ion is a spectator ion, so we are not including it in the net reaction because it is exactly the same on the left and the right. Now it says, use oxidation numbers to explain your choice of oxidizing agent in 9.2.2. So here it was, the silver iron, okay? So it goes from silver iron has an oxidation number of plus one. Silver metal has an oxidation number of zero, so the oxidation number decreased from plus one to zero, decrease in oxidation number is reduction, okay, and then the oxidizing agent Please don't abbreviate. The oxidizing agent is reduced. I'm just abbreviating to go faster and because I'm running out of space. So if you want to do this, you have to state this is what the oxidation number was. This is what it changed to. The change is a decrease and that is why it is my oxidizing agent because it was reduced.